Welcome back to Shade House. This is week 34. So much happened last week and it was just honestly so much. So a lot of finally reached level 10 in mixology. So we're very proud of her for that. Herman was hot on the kissing quest and ended up getting a couple kisses. However, when he and Joaquin went out on a date, after a completely accidental preventable incident involving a rabid rabbit, he was eaten and killed to death. And Seance wasn't able to do anything to convince the Grim Reaper to not take his soul, despite her being a medium and very powerful in the paranormal arts. So Stella was determined. She got her cooking skill up. She went and caught a bunch of fish with Wendy in a fun little adventure montage. She made ambrosia and set out to save Herman. And she did. She was successful in doing so. He returned to the land of the living. And now he's lost all his memories, but he went straight back to Joaquin and they started dating again. Seance was so mortified about everything that happened. She decided to leave the house. So Seance is no longer with us and she has moved on and away to the city. But a nice thing that happened is that Jacques and Penny Pizzazz finally got married. So now they're living happily together in their home, raising John, John, John. Let's see what happens this week in the House of Shade. uncomfortable. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> and Stella's just like, uh, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave now. Alright, so Herman needs to earn gold on three different dates. So we're gonna do immediately. Let's first off ask Joaquin to go on a date with us. There's no way that this could Squad, go bad. Nope. It's a very early date. What I would love to do is go to Sulani. It's freezing cold right now. This lot is not available? Why? <laughs> let's go to the beach, each, each. Come on, let's get away. Ah, what a wonderful date this is. What? I said what a wonderful date this is in the rain. It's so good to be here with you. But look, there's a convenient shack right here. It's a very scary date, probably because like, we already had a close encounter with death. We're talking about llamas. That's the most important thing. After your longtime lover died, and now you're back with them again after they were raised from the dead. Let's sit over here, because we're both terrified of being outside right now. And now look at this. Wow. What a romantic date this is. This is just... Uh, who are you? Can you go? Another peeping Tom. It's constant. You know what we can do? Okay, I'm gonna make it better. Give me one second. Herman used his mermatic powers to change the weather. Ooh, look! A boat! Right around an aqua zip. Okay, I'm gonna go jump in the water now. Go by. Tired. The day's barely starting. Let's go, Barbara! Could we run into that girl that's swimming around? I'm like, yeah. hey, Joaquin, look how cool I am. Oh no, we're so uncomfortable now. Thank you for this flirty date. It's been a very- Why is this package so big? All right, well, let's go on another date. Where do we want to go with Juan? Somewhere else. This nice little bar over here. It'll be really cute. We'll get some drinkies. Y'all will never know. This is actually really cute. Hey, boy, mean, I'm feeling really energized. I'm feeling really good. Let's do it. Are there any bushes to mess around in over here? I don't think so, but... Oh, wow, look how beautiful this is. Oh my god, that could be really cute. Oh, there's our maid who doesn't do anything. I, I don't know what I think about this. We need to rename her. We're naming her Barbara. 
Oh, oh my god, if Granola was a snow boy, this is the spirit of Granola. <gasps> it's because Herman went to the other side and died and probably saw Granola. And so that's all he can think about now in his, uh, in his new life is her. He's got to avenge her somehow. Let me flirt. Aha! Tell your date a story. We're talking about roses. Okay, wait. Make a move? Confess attraction. Wait! She did freeze to death skinny dipping. Maybe that's why he thought about her, because it's freezing cold outside. So he's like, thinking about her. Juan is not here for romance. Juan is on this date to get plowed. Honestly, I don't think this was ever about romance. Vegetables, we're talking about eggplants. Wait, where are you going? This is the worst day ever. Juan does not want to be here. All right, let's, ooh, let's customize the rink. Let's set some music. Not energy failure. Sir, not booty up. I don't know if this is the best date that I've ever been on in my life, but it's not a bad date. Oh no, it just hit our booties. Thankfully, Herman's got a dummy thick butt, so he'll probably be fine. He'll probably be more than okay. I love this person over here. Okay, it was a legendary date. Let's go travel. Let's buy, be by ourselves. We don't need to travel with anybody. Let's head out into the city. Let's go over here. Let's go to San Machino. Because there's a couple cute bars over here. Maybe we can do some karaoke and nab ourselves another boyfriend. Herman has to have multiple boyfriends. There's a karaoke contest happening. Wait, I want to do the karaoke contest. <laughs> What's his name? Maybe we shouldn't have done this karaoke contest. Herman, you should stop. This is bad. We scored 47 out of 100. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave now. Okay, a main clean the house. Are, did she really? Because I saw her while I was out on my date. Let's make some food. It's late. I don't know if anyone's made... Who broke this? Let's make some faux meat protein plate. Oh, it's Winterfest! Uh, I love Winterfest. It's my favorite time in The Sims. Okay, let's see. Where are our boxes? Here, let's decorate. <sighs> Reset, customize decorations. All right, light tree with everybody. We're getting it all ready for <laughs> Winterfest. She's so excited. She's so glad that she got to do this. Oh, and we still have to talk to Father Winter. And they have to have that grand meal. Everyone, come together. We're gonna fahu fores, dahu dores this bitch. Herman's excited. He got to have his first Christmas last year. So this is the second Christmas in the house. First Christmas being recently alive again. Where's Daddy Alexander? Alexander's feeling flirty from his alien abduction drawing. Okay, work. Look how prissy Jolene is putting them on there. <laughs> They're just like, oh, oh, Betty, oh, hi. Oh. Place a present pile under the tree. You put some presents under the tree. Let's all put presents down here. Let's see what they all get for each other this year. Oh, but the, this garland? Mama, this garland's cute. Again, I love the idea of popcorn on a tree. But I'd be so worried about ants and bugs, you know? You know what? I just saw this story on YouTube about how Bella Goth was abducted by aliens in Sims 2. I wonder if this is a repressed memory that Alexander's having right now. Because the theory is that in Sims 3, Alexander went back in time to write a best-selling novel called Where's Bella Goth, detailing her disappearance, thus altering the future and changing her fate. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a new member. All right, the Rain household is moving in. Rain on me. Our brand new member, Phoenix Rain, she is going to be another actress in the bunch. Maybe she'll get some better gigs in Saturday. First off, we need to set her up with a, a job. Let's get her a professional, because Saturday just did oh. gig work, and Saturday didn't actually choose any of his own stuff. I feel like everybody is going to get gifts. We just need to pester Father Christmas. We want a talent agency to recommend us. Daytime TV gigs. I would love to do daytime TV. Welcome to the crew, Phoenix. We specialize in getting talented service staff members into acting roles big and large. Some of our talent even land gigs with actual lines to speak. Can you imagine? 
actual lines. Wow. Stella turning up in here. All right, Phoenix coming in to come and have a deep conversation with her new roommates, express yeah, her yeah. goals and what she wants to do, which is to become a fantastic actress. Except Let me it's super tense. Dan Ahoy. All right, let's check in on a lot of nonsense. A lot of has to still create excellent drinks. So what I'm going to do right now is just make some drinks, make her favorite drink, whatever that happens to be. And we'll just keep doing that until she makes some excellent ones because that's that's on the docket. Seance. It's good to hear your voice, Jolene. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know a lot of nonsense a little better. They seem like good company. Y'all lived together. Y'all went on hikes together. Of course, building friendships is a must. She's feeling bad. She already is feeling bad about how she had to move out. Jolene is very hungry. So they decided to grab an orange juice. Let's make a tofurkey dinner because we have to remember that I think, I'm pretty sure we've got a couple vegetarians here. Oh, Herman's getting a call from whomst. Oh no, I missed the call. It could have been something asking about his car's extended warranty, which he doesn't have a vehicle. Huh. Stella was about to make a grilled cheese, I think. We can clean that up. Stella's like, ooh, I've got to make something. I see this grand meal being made. What are you making right now, ma'am? A BLT. This is the definition of when your mom is making dinner and you go in the kitchen to get chips and your mom's like, what are you doing? Like, I'm just getting chips and I'm going to make a sandwich. I'm making dinner right now, you ungrateful child. You're so disrespectful. Your roommate's literally making a, a tofurkey right now. Clean, clean this up. This is dirty. Ah, that looks good. We learned how to make confetti cake and chili. All right, let's call everyone to the grand meal. Everyone come get some fake turkey. Ooh, wait, a lot is getting a call. Seance would like to come over and hang out. Sure, why not? I know you just moved, but that's fine. You can come hang out. Oh, with Poncho too, please. Ah, uh, what a cute little family Ooh. dinner. Herman said, I'm not gonna have dinner with all y'all. I'm cheating death. We're defying gravity right now. Okay, wait, we should open up gifts. Oh, uh, come on, boogie down. <laughs> Alexander said, don't worry. I'll lighten up the mood. Let's boogie frickin' down, bitches. Swingle zip, swingle zip, swingle vas corn. Ooh, bet bonnies or beef whip. Swingle zip, swingle zip, swingle What did Alexander get? Ooh, bet bonnies or beef whip. This might be the most successful one. A life of spice, a life spice rack. This might be the cutest one that we've had so far. The last several have kind of been messy. Oh, Jolene just took a selfie of everything. Cute. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah. Oh no, Jolene. <sighs> Jolene, you're ruining Christmas. Uh, literally ruined it. Santa's gonna come down that chimney and slip on the pee like a slip and slide. Aha, there's this man. Okay, let's see if we can get a present. Oh. What'd you get? What did Santa give you this year? An ode to jazz. Golden tips. I don't think Alexander got anything last year. Let's see, what is this? Welcome Christmas. Oh, he didn't like his gift. He hated whatever it was. There was literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. You are giving me another present. I'm getting whatever it is, you old man. Give me your present. Oh my god. <laughs> Stella's like, not this. Why? Why are you fighting Father Christmas? Stella is getting her life, though. Aha! Father Winter's gift bag was full of good stuff, but Alexander received a few presents in his inventory. Oh my god, look how mad Alexander is. She got a buddy. I don't know what that is, but we got it. Hi, Daddy. Do you want to come over? Brand is sleeping? Well, that's just simply not going to do. All right, let's travel. Let's go find Brant. I have literally no clue where Brant lives, but we're going to give him a little holiday package. Or a big holiday package. I feel like Brant might live in Brindleton. Aha! There's just a doggo outside. Hello, doggo. You're very cute. 
All right, it's 1 a.m. It's time for that booty call. Hello, come on in. You are not asleep. I'm gonna give you a gift, a small print. Photographer Jolene Cuisine, the quality is poor. <laughs> oh yes, for you, I took this photo. He's like, wow, look at that. It's a blurry booty pic. Good, okay, let's go upstairs. Where's your bedroom? I've never been to your home before. All right, let's woohoo with Brant. I came to get your Christmas package in my chute. Oh no, the ex is still home. Not following us upstairs. What kind of ex situation is this? Oh, he's on the computer. Good, good. Okay, they just fell right asleep. Uh, not Brant getting up. Ah, I forgot his booty cheeks. Oh, he's making coffee at three in the morning. He's like, well, my ex is getting railed upstairs. I should really have some coffee so I can deal with this. Cause otherwise, I don't know how else I'm supposed to handle this. All right, I got. I should go home. I should not. Brant looks so freaking good. Brant said, I gotta go outside and clean up. Oh, wait, there's some chicken chimichurri skewers. Oh, the ex is gonna go drop a poop. And Jolene is just passed out in this man's bed. This has been a very interesting episode of Shade House. We had Grimace and it was great. Everybody got presents. Daddy Alexander did have to beat up Father Christmas in order to get a gift because Father Christmas said, fuck your muffins. We got to go give a very important package to Brant. We got to meet our brand new member, Phoenix Rain, and she is an actress. I think that she's going to be a lot of fun going forward. We get to see some of her goals next week, but we will see what happens next time on another episode of Shade House. Thank you so much for watching.